Chelsea Football Club have retaliated in a way that I love. Chelsea Football Club confirmed Rhys James is not injured. It's all lies. It's literally fabricated information to generate more clicks. Enzo Fernandez and Moises Caicedo could be missing the Arsenal game. Or they could make it. We're going to talk about it. The news is out there. And finally, some terrible news on Carney Chukameka and Trevor Chalaba that has been confirmed by who else? Chelsea Football Club. Let's get into it. Let's break it down. And let's get into the little details. Welcome to the Kafka's You Bratuki. You already know who it is. It's Alexis and I'm here to break down the latest Chelsea news. I took the day off yesterday because I was not reporting on Rich James was injured by the source that I'm not going to mention because I'm not going to give him the publicity. I think at this moment in time his track record stinks so I'm not going to talk about it. So, but when Chelsea dunked on him I was like we need to talk about it because I've had enough of people making reactionary videos to news that isn't real from sources that aren't credible. That's just my personal opinion. But, each to their own. But before we get started, I need you lot to do me a massive favor. Hit the like button, a thousand likes. Number two, subscribe to the channel because it's the quickest way you guys can help me out and I'm gonna hit 31,000, hopefully. I've been stuck on 30,999 for ages. It's actually annoying me. And more importantly, on TikTok, you can go and support me there where I talk about different things, different football related topics. So go support me there. But now let's get into the video. So yesterday, my timeline absolutely blew up. Like I wake up this morning, and I just open my phone and I'm like, oh my god, not this. Rhys James apparently trained alone. Oh my god, Rhys James is injured. He's not going to make the Arsenal game. And the hysteria on my timeline was absolutely unbelievable. Rhys James sucks. Rhys James needs to get sold. Rhys James isn't good enough for Chelsea. This is unacceptable. We're paying him for no reason. He's our captain. No. Well, Chelsea today, the admin dunked on them. Rhys James is back in full training. Rich James is training with the rest of the team. He's smiling, he's happy, he's chirpy. And now I'm going to give you my opinion on what's going on. I feel Rich James' name at this moment in time, it's, po it's easy to just get. People want to find a reason not to like Rich James. And I don't understand why. He's a world-class player. He's come through the academy. He's guaranteed us a trophy already when he retires. UEFA Champions League, Super Club, Cup, World Cup. He actively has done a lot for this club, but yet people want to look for reasons to dislike him. I don't understand it. And now I'm going to give you my perspective on Rich James's injury history. Rich James is injury prone. We can all agree. Rich James has got injury problems. But this isn't an issue. Anymore. You signed Malo Gusto. You went and got Gusto, and now Gusto is the number one right back in my eyes. As long as Reese is hurt or half fit, I don't want Reese playing. Reese should be focusing on getting his body to a state where he can play one game a week. We're not even going to push him to two games a week. Once we learn how to get one game a week out of him, then we can start trying to develop him to play two games a week. Because we've got Malo Gusto. There is no urgency to rush him back. I don't want to see him against us. Rich James against Arsenal should not be starting. Do not risk him. We saw what happened with Broya. Broya started the game, and after Broya started the game, there was a knock-on effect. Now he's injured again. It's because it's too many minutes too quickly. We don't need to rush Reese. Like Reese needs to be eased back in and these stories need to stop coming out and creating more hysteria among the fan base. We are all passionate about this club. Some of you are here for the entertainment to get at me, right? But some of you love this club the way I do. Chelsea fans that watch this channel love the club because if you don't love the club, you're not watching this channel. Or you just really love me and find me entertaining. But I highly doubt there's many of you that do that. So realistically speaking, these people play on our emotions and want to trigger us. And it works because we care about this club and we care about Rich James. What I'm going to say to you is take it with a pinch of salt. Yes, news has come out. Until it's confirmed, until that team sheets out, don't get too aggravated. And that's exactly why I didn't make a video on it yesterday. The next story is about Moises Caicedo and Enzo Fernandez. So Enzo yesterday played in a 2-0 victory that Argentina had. I think it was against Peru, I'm not mistaken. I didn't watch the game. I'm sorry if I got the team wrong. And I also know Colombia, I think, played Ecuador, if I'm not mistaken. So Moises Caicedo and Ken Kendry Pai Pay, played in that game. That was a nil-nil draw and I know Messi scored two golazos. So that's how I know the Argentina score. The rumor is that Nazir Kinsella is saying that Chelsea will give a late fitness test to Caicedo and Enzo because of the long journey they have to travel back. This is one of the negatives of signing South American players is when they go on international duty, it is a long haul flight. It is literally 12 to 13 hours. Flight there and flight back. It takes a toll on the body. And the different time zones, it takes an impact. So there's jet lag and especially for the first game back. But we're playing on Saturday night at 5.30 against Arsenal. So 
The question is, are those players going to play? They're going to get assessed. My opinion is simple. We aren't good enough not to play Enzo and Caicedo. Enzo and Caicedo at 80% are the best thing happening to Chelsea. They need to play and they need to somehow find to keep themselves in body clock mode. For me, Enzo and Caicedo, you're traveling first class. Get them a bed in that plane. Make sure they get enough sleep. Make sure they're going to bed at UK time. Whatever you need to do to get yourself non-jet lagged and whatever you need to do to recoup because you need to play in that game. There needs to be a way to get them to play. If Enzo and Caicedo don't play, don't bother turning up. Arsenal will win that game. We need our best players to compete against this Arsenal team. Gone of the days where we walk into that game as favourites and it is worrying, it is painful for me to say that. I hate Arsenal. With a passion, I dislike that team. I grew up not liking that team. So when they were all whipping boys, nothing brought me more joy. Sometimes we'd be in Arsenal felt as good as winning an FA Cup. I'm dead serious. Like games when we were slapping them, when DDA Drogba was owning them at the Emirates. I love those games. They're in entrenched in my memory because I just don't like that team. It's a like, fact of the matter. I grew up not liking them. So we need to make sure Enzo and Caicedo are fully fit and ready to play. So if you have to, play them tight. I, there's no Romeo Lavia, there's no Carni Chukomeka. I do not want to see a makeshift midfield. I need to have Enzo and Caicedo. Finally, there's some negative news that's come out. And this has come out from Chelsea and been confirmed. So the negative news is that Trevor Chalabar and Carni Chukomeka both have suffered knee issues once again from recovery. They're getting soreness in their knee. Carney especially apparently has now started training alone and so has uh, Trevor Chalabar. This is bad news, guys. Like, I mean this in the, like, in the worst way because Carney Chukomeka is so talented. Like, we're going to talk about him first, then we'll talk about what the implications for Trevor. Carney's so talented. He's so important to this team in the way that we build up our attacks, in the way that he links the midfield and the fort strike force together. It is integral that we get him fit and ready to go for Chelsea Football Club. The problem is, his knee issue is a problem now. Like, it's... He's got injured, he's come back and he got injured again. We can't rush him back. You need to play the Reese James card with him. Slow and steady. Carney, you're back. Okay, cool. Here's 15 minutes. Carney, you're back. Here's 20. Carney, you're back. Here's another 30 minutes. Three games. You've only like slowly come back into the team. I don't want to see him playing regularly. Trevor's a different um, individual. Trevor is going to be leaving the club. Trevor's leaving in January. I won't be shocked if Trevor doesn't play another minute for Chelsea. I would not be shocked if... Trevor literally sits out from now all the way to January until we sell him. Because the problem for Trevor Chalaber is he can't risk getting injured more. If he risks getting injured more, players at clubs are going to say he's injury pro. And Chelsea will say, oh my God, if you have an injury prone asset, it's harder to sell. So the reality is I won't be surprised if he just concentrates on getting his body right for that next. And it's sad because I think Trevor Chalibur is an asset that we have at this club that we've not utilized. Um, I don't think he's any worse than De Sassi. I think they're of the same level. I think Trevor's proven himself to be a very competent um, deputy, a fourth choice midfield, uh, cent centre back, right back, or even a centre defensive midfielder. He's just very competent. But yet, the club just doesn't want to respect him. And that, that, that's literally the way it is. And sometimes, Trevor, you need to go somewhere else to prove your worth. Because all of a sudden, they all respect Trevor Ch uh Not Trevor Chal, but Fakayo Tomori now. Now, all of a sudden, to, oh, Fakayo Tomori is a very good player. Oh, you didn't rate him when he was here. You didn't rate him when he was here. Mark Wahey, you didn't rate him when he was here. Like, all these players that go on and that, then people change their tune. They're like, oh my God, he was actually very good. Yes, Fick showed us he was a very good player, but we opted to get rid of him. We opted to get rid of him because Frank didn't like him. And now, you know what? We had to spend an awful lot of money to buy new centre-halves. When really, Fakai Tomori should have been our Chelsea centre-half. But you know what? I don't know whether Trevor Chalab is going to be as successful with Fakai Tomori. But I think if he goes to Inter Milan, he's going to have a very good career. That's just my personal opinion. Guys, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts. <coughs> Let me know, right? How would you ease Reese James back in? Do you want to risk him against Arsenal or not? Peace out. I'm out. Have a lovely day.